All right, I wanted to run down uh, clearing app cache uh, on your device and the best practices because I also got this question. Do you have any questions or comments uh, in regards to like um, device uh, maintenance, I guess, or anything really? Um, just let me know, put it in the comments or shoot me an email or message me on Instagram, whatever you, you uh, the numerous ways to get a hold of, a hold of us. But um, clearing app cache, I do have a special app that I use specifically for clearing app cache. Now, why would you want to clear app cache? Well, one thing, app cache is, what it, what it is in the first place, um, is you have app cache and you have, um, and then you have app data. Now, app cache, data stores all the data that you, um, that you build up over time. It saves your login information, so you don't have to sign in every time stores, your favorites, you know, blah, 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 all that stuff. Cache is if you're in the AliExpress app and you're looking at cases to buy and you, you were reading the description of a case and then you want to go check an email or, oh yeah, I forgot to email somebody. You go to your, uh, you swipe away the app and you go to your email you type up an email and then you want to go back to AliExpress to continue looking at the description of a case, the app cache among other things, but it keeps that uh, data that you were um, currently looking at on your device. You don't have to go back, open up the app, find that case again you were looking at, and view it, or vice versa. If you were uh, typing up an email, of course it's auto saves drafts, but you know what I'm saying. It's like random, it's almost like RAM for an app, right? Random access memory for an app. So. So why you would want to uh, uh, clear that is, uh, now you don't want to do the data, because if you clear the data, uh, now I have done that, but only in you know, certain small cases where an app continually crashes. But first thing you do is you want to try the cache. If cache doesn't work, then you can try clearing the data. However, cache, <clears throat> I used to be a serial flasher, meaning like when, when I had like the Nexus 5 or 5X, I used to flash ROMs like almost daily. So I would get in the habit clearing the app caches before I updated or flashed another ROM. And I still do that to this day. Whether it's uh, a software update going from Android 13 to Android 14, or when you, every security patch, every month for two devices, Pixel and Samsung, you get monthly updates, I clear the app cache because you don't want any corrupted uh, material or corrupted data going on to your new uh, build or your new uh, software. Uh, and again, probably don't have to, to be honest with you, uh, but I do, I, I do. Uh, just have it in, you know, whatever. Now, uh, if you have an app that crashes, best thing to do is to clear the cache first and then data. However, if you wanna clear the, let's say you're doing an update or security patch or you get the Android 14 update here next month or, or in two months, and you want to try it out. You want to clear the app caches, not the data. You want to clear the app cache before you update. It would take like probably an hour. I have like what 115 apps. So uh, doing one of those one by one manually. Back in the past with like Android 9, 10, you could inside Android, you could do it. Uh, you could do them like automatically. Now you have to do one at a time, which again, 100 and some apps, it's going to take forever one at a time. Now, and I'm going to link a, uh, I'm going to put a link in the description for an Android app specifically. Now, I'm not sure about uh, uh, iPhone, but Android, there is a, if you go visit the Play Store, I'll put a link in the description and go straight to a Play Store for an app called SD Made. SD Made is a phenomenal application. I've had it for years. I've used it for years. It's an independent, smaller app developer. Started off with uh, on XDA flashing, uh, he used to build ROMs and uh, custom zips you could flash to clear everything out, but it's an app that you can clear. It automatically clears all the app cache you have for system apps and third-party apps that you download from the Play Store automatically. And it, it may take a couple minutes, but sure beats you know an hour doing it yourself. So that's the best way to clear app cache. Now. 
I just got home. So if you want to give me just a minute, I'm going to open up the app and I will basically run, you know, run it, uh, run you through it real quick just to uh, give you a, a, a quick idea to see how it works. So hang on. I just got home. Let me get inside, get situated, and I'll uh, see you in just a second. Okay. So here is the app that I wanted you all to check out SD Made. Now, hold up. First of all, if you were going to clear each one hand uh, one at a time, you go to your settings, you scroll all the way down to apps, and then let's say here's the AliExpress app we were talking about. I have 508 megabytes of data. We're not clearing the data. We're talking about clearing the cache. So you would go to storage, and then you got cache, and you got data. Now, we're just talking about the cache. So if you were gonna clear the cache, you'd have to go into apps, settings, apps, and then go each one. You'd have to go like Amazon. You'd have to go back into, see how long this takes, settings. Well, I already cleared that one. But you get the point. You had to go through each one. Now, check this out. Go to, uh, to our description box and get SD made if you have Android. <clears throat> now. I just ran this. It said earlier I had 6.88 gigabytes, gigabytes with a G, of cache. This will run through your whole system and basically clear your cache within a couple minutes so you don't have to do it one by one and take two hours. Now, something else which is really cool about this app, and I'm sorry I'm not using a tripod, but I'm in a hurry. Okay, so this uh, what's cool about this app too is you can do, do scheduler. This will do it automatically for you whenever you program it to. I have mine set for, see, you can choose what you want it to clear at what time on what day. I have everything clear, uh, checked to be clear. Now, check this out. You can set it for whatever time you want. I got it set for 5 a.m. to run every morning. So every morning when I wake up, all my app cache, everything in here you see, my device is completely uh, cleaned of cache. It's gonna run absolutely smoothly. So I wake up, first thing I do is restart my device, restart my device every morning, and all the cache is cleared. So I have a nice, fresh running device. Um, you can set it for one day, you can set it for 10, 12, 20, 31 days. Basically up to either once a day or once a month. So I set mine every morning, every day at 5 a.m. and it'll wipe all this stuff. Now, let's go back to, now look at this, settings. It's got a ton of stuff in here. Very cool. Now, I do have the pro version. I think it's only a dollar or two. I've been supporting this developer for years. So um, I think the free version will let you do the app cache cleaning. I think to set, set a schedule, you might have to buy the pro version. I'm not 100% sure, but look at all this stuff it's got in here as far as clean, clearing data. If you, if you delete an app, a lot of times it'll leave the data on your phone. So in case you reinstall the app, it'll have all that data there in memory to basically reinsert itself into that app you deleted. But typically if when I do delete an app, I want everything gone. So this will find the quirks of an old app, old data, and delete it. So, got a ton of cool stuff. Now, let's go back here, whoops. Let's go back to Quick Access. As soon as you open it up. Uh, what's going on here? Great, right when I want it to work, it doesn't. Okay, so check this out. So instead of going to apps, excuse me, instead of going to settings, apps, and then each app one by one clearing the data, just simply do this. Look at that, it's doing everything automatically. Goes through each app automatically and clears the app cache. And you can set it, got numerous different types of settings. And depending on how many apps you have, it says, what do I have, 108. Depending on how many apps you have, it may take a couple minutes, may take five minutes, but as you can tell, it goes, you can not only do it for, for third-party apps, meaning apps from the Play Store, It'll also, you can also set it to do system apps. As you can tell, it did Google Maps. It's doing Google Apps, which comes pre-installed on your device. Those are system apps. 
So this is a very, very cool way uh, to delete your to delete your app cache in case you just want a fresh device, in case you need a little extra storage on your device if you're running out of memory, or if you're upgrading a uh, software security patch, Android version, um, or if you have an app crash. If you did update, if you're on running beta software and you have an app that's always crashing, first thing you would do is delete the app cache. If it's still crashing, then you go with the uh, app data. But very first thing is cache. So SD made is the absolute very best way to clear your app cache. So um, I will let y'all go. I'm in a hurry, but I did want to answer this viewer's question and uh, show y'all what I do to clear my app cache. SD made, I'll put a link in the description. Peace.